welcome back. This week I'm talking about my favorite top absolute best picks for horror in all of the year of 2017. It's gonna be awesome, let's do it. By the way, have you seen my other videos? Cause every week this month I'm telling you my best top favorite, most awesomest picks from four of my favorite genres of the entire year of 2017. So be sure to check those out. There'll be links at the end of this video. My first pick has been everywhere. And if you haven't seen this, then something is wrong. You guessed it. It's Final Girls by Riley Sager. And let me tell you something. It's the best version of every cult classic slasher flick you've ever loved. The sharp edged writing style makes those pages fly by with delicious unease. It's a true thriller and therefore totally worthy of the number one pick on my best horror of 2017 list. In case you're not familiar, let me give you a little history of what a final girl actually is. Final Girl is a classic trope in horror films. She's the last girl standing left to defeat the serial killer, the bad guy, the guy with the mask and the big bloody knife. So the author took that whole idea out of the big screen and into a book. And let me tell you something, it is fantastic. In Final Girls, three surviving women are struggling to move on after the fallout from their perspective attacks. They seem to be doing well until one of them turns up dead. It's got the perfect stab of classic horror. See what it did there? Final Girls is the best pick for the number one spot on my best horror list. My second pick for the best horror of 2017 is truly disgusting. And I mean that as a compliment. It's a book that will leave you squirming long after the last pages. And what better book could I choose for a spot on this list than Nick Cutter's Little Heaven? Three mercenaries are sent to a remote New Mexico religious settlement. Their mission, to check in on a boy who may have been taken against his will. A simple rescue mission turns sinister when strange sightings start to appear at the edge of the woods. Paranoia and panic ensue as the children turn violent, the shapes in the forest grow closer, and all exit routes are slowly cut off. It was so good, I can't believe I haven't read Nick Cutter before. What took me so long? Little Heaven actually came in one of my Nocturnal Readers box. If you haven't seen that, it's the best box for anyone who loves horror, sci-fi, mystery thrillers. You gotta check that out. I have tons of unboxings, and I'll totally leave a link to those at the end of this video, because I know you love horror as much as me. My third pick for the best horror of 2017 is actually self-published. Who'd have thought? Truthfully, I get a lot of requests from self-published authors, and I'm not gonna lie to you, most of them aren't good, but every now and then you get one. It's like the diamond in the rough. They're so good, and that's how this one was. It's Home to Roost by Chauncey Rogers, and it just like blew my mind. It was everything I could have wanted. By the final chapters, my heart was pounding. By the end of the author's note, I had chills. This is a can't be missed horror novel for fans of Nick Cutter and Stephen King. Anyone who enjoys the slow burn of a well-crafted work of terror. Nestled among the green pastures of the American heartland lies a farmstead whose picturesque haven is about to be disrupted. Beyond the hen house, past the open fields and behind the barn, lies the dark folds of a forest vine. From this ominous place comes a creature, a creature no one has seen, but whose lingering howls have been heard over the open fields at night. Since its arrival, some of the animals have been acting strange. Some have even turned violent. As the days go on, humans and animals alike will discover the true battle at hand might be against evil itself, and that maybe a battle they're doomed to lose. Oh my God, was that dramatic enough for you? I did that in my most dramatic voice. My number four and final pick is a little ghost story, a little haunting for you guys. It's called The Grip of It by Jack Jemp. It's sharp, addictive, and devourable. I think I read it in the course of like 24 hours. Strange enough for addicts of the genre, yet approachable enough for those just starting to step into the dark side. Come on over, we have cupcakes, sometimes t-shirts. Classic haunting storyline, but it's told with a fresh modern pace that really keeps the pages turning. A young couple opts for a fresh start in a beautiful country home. It's surrounded by lakes on one side and a forest on the other. But from deep within their home's new walls comes a rumbling, and it's not just the house settling. All right, guys, that's it. My top four picks were the best horror of the year. I read a lot of scary things. I don't know why it's so fun to be scared, but it just is. Thanks for watching this video. I love doing these for you guys. If you liked this video, you're gonna like the rest of them. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and leave me a comment of your favorite horror book of 2017. In case you missed it, I've been doing my top picks of the year for four of my favorite genres. I'll leave the links to all those videos. Why not watch a few more? Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.